This video is brought to you by my Patreon. This is a massive overhaul. If you like free shit, you like access to a WhatsApp group, you like to know what I'm doing day to day, and like if you want the documentaries free when I make them, then you want to sign up to the Patreon. Fatty man. <laughs> right, let's dig through this. Hey, I've got it. Beauty. That's the point. It's really heavy. I think that's just the pack, isn't it? Okay, so foil, lovely. It's like past the parcel when you were a kid, isn't it? Definitely look past the parcel when you were a kid. Another next layer. And I'm coming to the softer. Oh, cool. So I've got a um, Poslothera striata and a Poslothera tigrina wasali. Happy days. Lovely. So we've just set up two uh, simple, what are these? These are 32 ounces, are they? I think 32s. Yeah, definitely. 32 ounce enclosures are the temporary enclosures because I'm going to put them into. Um, the five litre cereal tubs that I, I'm liking, um, so they can grow on. But yeah, nice, simple, let's open that up. Just literally a couple of inches of substrate and then a uh, piece of cork bark, then, or bark actually, on that one, just lean into one side. And uh, I'll do the Let's try out there first, seeing that I've already opened the lid. Let's have a look at him. Let's see. There's definitely is a spider in there. I think we'll do this the really simple, easy way. And um, just pop him out of the tissue. And then unwrap him. Where's the where's that way? There's the back legs. Oh, you okay? Yes. No, 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 there we are. And you see that? Straight into the retreat. So, uh, straight in there. I want to have a quick look at it. Oh, 
Hey, look at the size. Fair play. Good size. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Curling a lot, bear with me a sec. This is the Tigrino Wasella, and already I can see that it is in a better shape than the Striata was. So, yeah, it's spread out inside there. And I'm not going to muck around with this one. I'm just literally going to unravel it, pop it straight into the enclosure, and, well, the enclosure, the tub. We have a look here, someone has left me a present in the water bowl just there. It must have molted just overnight. The spider is actually just to the left as well, so. good let's get that out have a look at it so this one is one of the millions of postal theory regardless i've got at the moment hello tiny little malt and i don't know if i'll be able to sex it at this size but i'll try let's just pop that to one side also I've noticed there's a bit of uh, like food boluses and stuff and the water bowl is dirty so I'll show you through the top. Just like there, just there. And we've got, I'll take all this out here. 
because it's, it's got a dead roach in it. You don't like that. Also, in the corner there, we've got a dead roach. It's always good to um, get rid of your food boluses and bits and bobs because they attract forward flies and forward flies are killers really when it comes to a spider collection. Um, please see my video on the differentiating between forward flies and nematodes. I'll pop it up on the right hand side of your screen now. Yeah, so that's one. Well if that's one, right, so this one is from a group of six, maybe seven. So they should all be kind of molten at the same time. Let's check out a few more. Ah, oops. Before I uh, check out the other ones, let's make sure that there is uh, a nice clean water bowl in there. And then uh, the lid on. Let me pop you there. And let's go to the... So where are we here? So I'm going to try and check this one out. I don't think there's, there's no mold there. Spider's like... Uh, just, well, just there, you know, you can't really see through it. So no mold on that one. Ouch. Oh, there's another one there. I know this is difficult. There's one there. Any molts in there? That's a lot bigger than that one is though, so it must have molted first. No molt in there. I'll just put you straight back up here. Check here. There's a dead roach in there and a dead roach in the uh, water bowl. So let's do the special. Uh, get rid of those. It's just wings. There's obviously some undigestible bits of roaches. Not even spiders can digest them. That's disgusting. See, that's going all foosty. And you can like smell it straight away. Dead roach, man. Oh, they're, they're absolutely buzzing. Yeah. It's a nice sized one, that one is as well. That one. Let's get another one off the shelf. That's interesting. This one's striata, but see them going there. It's actually made a burrow as well. So not only does it have um, the cork there, obviously, and, and its retreat, but it's got a burrow too. That's quite interesting. But yeah, no malt. And that one's really clean. Just check that one, yeah. Yeah, no mold in that one either. Just stop putting these back here. Yeah. This one's got a mushroom, I think. Can I mushroom on that one? Yeah, tiny little mushroom on it. I don't know if you can see. Mushrooms are all right, most of the time. Don't have to worry about mushrooms. Oh, what happened there? Well, what we need to do with this one is cork bar because it's fallen over, so let's just sort that out. Might have to change that water bowl as well because I remember just filling this water bowl up full just a couple of days ago, so I think it must have a leak or crack in it or something. So it's empty in, but there's um... So 
Voilà. Now at this size. At this size, you don't have to really worry about them. They'll still bite you, right? And they'll still probably really hurt. But I'm not too worried about um, uh, the bend and potency at this size. But I still wouldn't, uh, if you're not very confident or you're not comfortable, I should say, with, uh, of course, Lithuria, then I wouldn't do this. Let's just pop you back. I want to put it in. Without squ obviously squashing this pipe. <laughs> That's the main kind of point here. Yeah? Right, put you like that. Again. I'll stick you down straight. Obviously, as the spider grows. As the spider grows, I'll have a bigger piece of cork back. Um, I don't think that's... That, I did put it in that way round, did I? I was meant to go that way round. There we go, that's the thing, that's the shit. Right. You get me, don't you? So, like these, they'll have bigger... Bigger bits of... Like these, look, see, they'll have bigger bits of cork back. Just, uh, just easy for the time being. Let's check out that water bowl. I've got this one kicking about, I'll just put that one in there. I don't, I'm not really a fan of these ones now either, as they tend to um, evaporate or suck in, or I don't know what they do, but water disappears quick off them. But as long as there is some, excuse me, burp in there, okay. As long as there is some water in it at all times, that's no problems. Right, so just the one regardless malt. Unfortunately, I think I ripped it. Still, um, have a look. See, at times like this, man, I wish I hadn't uh, broken and, and broken my microscope. I had a really wicked um, microscope. And it's bust, and they're expensive pieces of equipment, so I just haven't had uh, an opportunity to be able to replace it yet. Hmm. I'm like, I can't see with my eyesight, man. Um, you'd probably use a jeweler's loop. I haven't got one. Uh, I've got a pair of those like magnifying glasses type thing, but they're even it's a bit even small for even those. Uh, but let's see if I can get the macro lens out of this camera and give it a shot. Okay. So. Nah, I've ripped it. Yeah, fold there. No, 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 no. I'm too, I need to get that um, skin open a bit more. I can see how I can do it now. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a close-up shot. Sorry, it's all shaky here. Yeah. I'm trying my best to edit uh, the, the shake out. It's pretty cool anyway, you can see a uh, proper close-up of a not even two inch malt. Definitely need to purchase a microscope again. 